been a long time since I've done anything like this. We're going to do a massive, did I say massive? Try on and showcase of Tony Bratton wigs coming up. Remember, you can find the Tony Bratton wig line at Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link to each one of these wig styles that I'm going to feature today. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. I don't know how many I have here. I have accumulated a lot of Tony Bratton wigs over the last couple of years with my intention to review them all. I have reviewed some, but not all. And when I found this box of unopened wigs, I thought this would be a great opportunity to just take them right out of the box and try them on right in front of you brand new. Now, what do I love about the Tony Bratton line? It's more affordable. So kind of like the hairdo line, it uh, tends to feature just open cap styles. They're more affordable. Um, they have a more limited color palette. Uh, for the most part, but I've really enjoyed them as sort of a plug and chug or shake and go kind of wig style. And to be honest with you, I'd rather have two or three Tony Bratton wigs uh, for the cost of maybe one hand tied wig because I like to switch up my styles all the time. They do a great pixie. The other thing I love about Tony Bratton is they come in two sizes. Every style they make, I believe, comes in a regular and a large. Okay. Now you all know I have a petite average circumference. Sometimes with Tony Bratton, I struggle to get a good fit for a petite average circumference. Now this one here I'm wearing, this is the prestigious and light blonde. This is my first Tony Bratton wig. I am still wearing it to this day. I, I took this with me to see my son. Uh, we stayed with my son when he was introducing us to his now wife, but back then his girlfriend. And this was my wig of choice just to kind of run around in the house and visit. It's just such an easy wig to plug and chug. So I don't even know where, I honestly don't know where to start. Now you'll notice also that the Tony Bratton packaging is a little bit different. So the Tony Bratton wigs used to come in a box like this and now you'll see that most of the newer styles are in a bag like this. I think they're equally as protected. It still has the cardboard form and things, um, but they went to this bag in terms of their packaging. So let's take a look. This will be fun. Let's see what this one is. This one is Whimsical in Light Blonde. Now, if you notice, I did review Whimsical um, just, just a few months ago, as a matter of fact. So this is just an open cap wig style. You'll see, I'll show you this cap because they're all gonna look the same. So you'll, you'll always find some open wefts on the top, sides, and back, a nice velvet piece at the front hairline with a built-in, uh, like a hidden weft there at the front, just to give a more natural looking hairline. And then an open ear tab, an open extended nape, and Velcro style adjusters, guys. That is a really nice touch on these Tony Bratton wigs. So whimsical, a unique little pixie cut. What's unique about it is because it has these really long pieces right off of the crown. And those kind of drape over the other shorter layers around it. It's a very fine density. Now all of these are going to be heat friendly fiber. And I do have a review up there on this one. So it's smooth, it's more smooth and the layers are long. This is in the color light blonde. Now I am going to move through these pretty quickly and I don't have all of the specs to share on each one. But again, all of those links will be below the video if you want more detail. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so what's next? This is fun for me too. Uh, this is Anytime and Light Blonde. And I also did a review on this one. So here is Anytime. It's been in the box since the review. I think the review was maybe a year or two ago. I just love this little pixie style. So each one of the pixies in the Tony Bratton line, she really does a nice pixie. Uh, all of the shaggy layers, okay, we find those very flattering on most face shapes. Again, has a nice light density, feathery layers, ample, ample nape. I just love taking my fingers and just raking this one back. It's such a chic, slim profile look. And again, this one is Anytime in Light Blonde. Oh wow, I haven't even tried this one on yet. It's been in the box probably for a year. This one is called Fabulous. 
and red blonde and it has a point to it. <laughs> We're gonna need to wet this one down and just kind of let it dry on a drying rack, but it has these short little spiky layers all over the crown and the top. So you're getting some height on top. It's just real shaggy. This is that red blonde color. Lots of different things going on here. A nice spicy blend of some brown and some auburn and perhaps a hint of blonde with a darker root. Uh, but those layers on top honestly can't be more than just a couple of inches, maybe th up to three inches. And there's a lot of permatease on this one. Now I also have this style in brown blonde. So let's see if it has the same kind of a cone effect going here. It probably will. I got these at the same time. And I don't even know if this style is still being produced, but you see how it's kind of smashed in there? smashed and folded. So yeah, we probably have some box hair going on here, but it's fun to see these colors too. So this one, this light brown is a light soft brown with some gold blonde highlighting. So warm and this red blonde is also a warm color. So yes, I'm getting that same kind of spiky cone shape. It's going to need some water, but I can see that the identity of the style is just a short spiky pixie. It has a really short fringe, probably no more than two inches, uh, which is just an eyebrow fringe here. It's a very sculpted look all the way down into a shorter nape. That nape is probably around one, 1 1.75 inches, I would say. But I definitely wanted to show you this color. This one I have loved and enjoyed. This is Trendsetter in Red Blonde. Let's get it on. Okay, so I got a little box hair going on here as well. Trendsetter, uh, the cutest little shag. It has this little shaggy back, lot longer layers and fringe around the face. I think it would flatter so many face shapes. This is more like a grown out pixie look. Again, in this beautiful Red Blonde that open cap design, a light density, and it just needs a squirt of water. But look at the shape of it, isn't that adorable? It has a little bit of a longer back on it than your typical tapered pixies, and then you just see all of the, the fringy pieces. I love the shape and movement of this one. Okay, now let's take a look at another one. I have the style Impressive here in two colors. So here's the style Impressive, more of a smooth grown out pixie look, a little less layering, but you can definitely still see the shaggy back on this one. So as opposed to the trendsetter, this is going to be a little bit more flat and smooth on top, a little bit of longer layers draping over that crown area. This is in brown blonde, so it looks to be a medium golden brown with some golden blonde highlights. I love tucking these kind of styles behind the ear and then create a little bit of lift here at the front. And it appears that these longer layers here can be swept off to any side that you prefer and then that'll give you some styling versatility as well. Now those bangs are probably a little long for me to swipe straight down. Of course, I don't wear, wear them that way often. So just know this one has a little bit of a smoother, flatter profile on top. Let's take a look at my other color. Oh my goodness, looky here. I have light gray on Impressive by Tony Bratton. Oh, I like this one better. Wow, you know this light gray is really pretty. It's not super blue based. So it's just a combination of grays, probably a 5661. So a light gray and then some white. It's on a white colored cap also. So it's not a rooted gray and therefore you don't want to look through to a darker cap material. So it's on a white cap. Oh, this is going to be the perfect pixie for so many of you that don't like really short pixie cuts. This is so practical to wear. All right, so we, you have seen this one before on me. It's been a while. This is casually chic and light blonde. I remember this one now because of this adorable, soft, Big curl. The density is a little thicker on this one as well as you would expect with a curly, kind of a full body curly style. 
It's still short above the collar. It is adorable. And again, been boxed for quite a while, but it doesn't take long to bring this one to life. If you like styles like uh, Sweet Talk by Gabor, and there's so many others that it's just not coming to mind right now, um, this is an easy peasy, no muss, no fuss, grab and go, shake and go, plug and chug, curly, voluminous wig. Love it, love this. You have to like that big round volume and there is quite a bit of permatees on this one. Well, a modest amount, I would say. It's not overly done, but it is enough to sustain this volume and curl. Okay, so let's move on. This one is Sensational. I'm not sure if I tried this one or not. I may have, let's check it out. Oh yes, I remember this one. This is the one with the cute little baby doll curls. So it's really smooth on the crown and then it bursts out into this voluminous crop of baby doll curls all the way around. It's a bigger style, it's rounded. And you gotta love that cute baby doll curl. But it just strikes me how smooth it is until you get to the curl. And I think I would prefer to wear this top just to bring that profile down on the sides just a little bit. Darling, isn't it just darling? Now it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea with all of this curl, but if you like curl, and we just showed you the casually chic, uh, this might be a nice sister style to that one so that you can use them interchangeably. Again, this one in light blonde. Okay, now I'm gonna get into the box and I don't think we've tried these on before. Let's check it out. Discoveries are the best. So yes, I did review this one. In fact, I've already shown it to you. I found this one in the bottom of a box. This is Trendsetter in light blonde. I remember thinking I had Trendsetter in that red gold, and then I had it in another color, but I wanted it in light blonde because this is my favorite blonde in the Tony Bratton line, and I ordered it, and now I have, I just forgot about it, that it was in there. So this is Trendsetter in light blonde. Love those long fringe layers. That really attracted me to the style originally. Not too short, very easy pixie to wear. Okay, so let's see what's in here. This is luminous in light blonde. Uh, luminous, I have no idea what this is. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, this is a rare mid-length style by Tony Bratton. I knew there were some out there. I forgot that I had this one. Oh my goodness, how cute, a mid-length shag style. It looks like that fringe is gonna be about five inches, so easy to wear though. A lot of people gravitate to Tony Bratton for the Pixies, but isn't this adorable? Kind of reminds me of a Raquel Welch big time. You've seen styles like this before, but ultimately super wearable, again, heat friendly. I love how these sides just feather back. And the density is really lightweight on this one. It seems super easy to wear. Unlike the Big Time by Raquel Welch, which is a huge profile, this one is a similar style with a really low profile and light density. Love it tucked. Isn't that gorgeous? My goodness, that's cute. This is a true throw and go, plug and chug, mid-length, affordable style. Wow, this one was, I think, my biggest, my biggest shock of today's showcase. Gorgeous. Uh, some permatease on top, so just not a huge amount. Okay, so let's see what we've got. This one is called Alluring. And I can tell that it's got a little curl and wave. Let's check it out. And it is another mid-length shag style but it has waves, curls. Wow, that is cute too. Adorable. This one has a little less permatees, but um, you're still getting some volume. I haven't seen the back yet of this. Does it flip up or out? Cute curl, I can tell already. The nice little profile there, again, so tuckable. So if you don't want a pixie cut, 
you can definitely get your affordable plug and tug wig in this one without going too short. I take a wig out of the box and if it's not perfect, it's a challenge, it's like, bring it. The challenge is on, let's make this beautiful. And I set about working it to my own specifications. Rarely ever do I get a wig style that I absolutely cannot work with. Here's another style that I really loved and had to have it in light blonde. This is impressive. We saw that in a couple of different colors, the, the brown and the red, I think. Um, and I ordered it in light blonde and it was in a separate box. So it is so cute with the kind of a shaggy long layers throughout the top and fringe. Some light density layers throughout. This is super light density. I love these wigs for working out, um, hot weather. If I'm doing an activity outside in the summer, I reach for a Tony Bratton wig because it, it stays put. It, um, the, all the shaggy layers, even if it lifts up a little bit, you really can't get the sensation of wefting. It moves with me. It just looks so natural and it's comfortable and super breathable. So I think, I think that's it. So the reason why I did a super showcase rather than to individually review these is because I have a group of ladies coming over. I was introduced to some of them through family and friends and then they all live in the same area and they're so intrigued by wigs. They range in age anywhere from 60 to 70, 75 and they just wanna come over. And I invited them for a tour and a try on and we're just gonna have a really good time. But I know that these Tony Bratton wigs are gonna be wigs they're gonna be interested in. So we're gonna have a really fun time trying on all these different wigs. And I've got some other Ellen Villas here, some John Renault like Evan, um, that I think they will also enjoy. So we're just gonna have a really good time. They might walk away with a favorite. <laughs>